Flag, you've been on this show for how many years? Uh, since I was 21, so 17 years. 17 years. Yeah. I think I think I'm the longest uh, member of the Bravo family. You think when you go on TV that everyone's going to love you and it's going to be so glorious. What you don't prepare for is the hate. Yep. You don't. What is your favorite scene, episode, or <laughs> highlight in 17 years of being on that show? Oh, my God. Are you single, ready to mingle? Uh... Okay, it's an exciting day. We are back, rise above the ranks, and we have taken off an entire year because we've been working on something very, very exciting. We're back with the podcast and the newsletter, but we have now merged with a state media and we are really excited. Little did we know we'd be back at a table with Josh Flagg, the star, the myth, the legend from Million Dollar Listing, Los Angeles. Josh, <laughs> it's good to be here with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who would have thought we can't wait to grill you about Million Dollar Listing now that we're not on it anymore and we don't have to do 11 months of shooting a year. But before that, how you doing? How's life? Everything's good. Uh, we're back uh, on air probably, I, I can't even say, I, in the next couple of months. They have an act that they always tell us at the last minute. So I'd say in the next couple of months. And how on earth are you still shooting this show? I'm just used to it by now. And no gray hairs. No gray hairs still. I don't That's get it. That's because he dyes his hair. I don't, huh. never. Really? I swear to God. That's just impressive. three nose jobs. Yeah. <laughs> penis More. enlargement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything but, but I've not dyed my hair yet. Well, that's how you know he's honest. I believe he has not dyed his hair. Yeah. He's been very forthcoming. Yeah. Tell us about the new season, dude. We miss it, but it's... we're also like, it's nice to know that we still get to watch it, but we're not on it. But we want to know how the season is and what we. It's going to be good. It's going to be. There's a lot of uh, Tracy and I traveling together. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of fighting this season. Uh, we got rid of my ex-husband. That was great. Excellent. Did that uh, cost you sixty percent or eighty? It cost me quite a bit of money. <laughs> uh, but uh, so we got the three of us, and uh, it's fun. It's all good. That's exciting, dude. Yeah. Exciting. Question. I have one. Go for it. Are you single, ready to mingle? Uh, not necessarily. Hmm. Elaborate. I don't want to. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. No flag. You've been on this show for how many years? Uh, since I was twenty-one, so seventeen years. Seventeen years. Yeah, I think I think I'm the longest uh, member of the Bravo family. I, I don't think anyone's been on that network longer than I have. How long had you been in business when you started? Probably the show? two years. It's funny because we came onto the show after being in business only one year. Not even. And then we did seven seasons or eight? I can't even remember. Some, seven, seven or eight, eight yeah. but it changed our of course. entire business from a global perspective. It's the greatest thing ever. So tell us your view on the show, because I've never sat and talked to you about, like, what do you actually mm. think of the show? What's it done for you? Well, just think about it. Real estate agents will pay $1,000 for an ad in the LA Times. You know, it's free marketing and it's in syndication in over 70 countries and I have to pay for it. It's the greatest marketing tool of all time. Yeah, it really is. And knowing Flag for as long as we have, the awards really go to the editors. Yeah, <laughs> so true. If they put out 8% of what comes out of your mouth, in fact, all of us, yeah. I think we'd be in a very different situation. Yeah, that is true. We, we do have a, a lot to thank those editors for. They, they do a great job making me look like a decent human being. Yeah, you are a decent human being and you do have a good heart. But I think the reason that people love you so much is that you do have this disposition of you really do say what you're thinking Ugh. and you really don't care. Ugh. And now that we know you, we truly know that you don't care. Until it airs, by the way. I have sat with he Flag during yeah, a premiere and you do care. Doing what? During a premiere, like a first episode of a new season, you oh. do watch it and give yourself notes. But he yeah. was very good to us though, Flag. I remember you were like the good guy when we joined because- Not anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I think I still am the good guy. No, you I'm are, joking. you are. When we first joined though, he welcomed us with open arms. He did. He was very sweet. and. We got so much hate. They normally hate the new people. The people don't like change. Plus, we look like a pair of idiots on we season did. seven. Um, and I was like, "Flag!" They're writing the most horrendous things on Instagram and, and Facebook. And he goes, "Don't 
take any notice. Yeah. Like literally just calm the whole thing. It didn't calm me down, but it did for about five minutes. And you were very, very sweet about that, I remember. Yeah. It, you had experience because you think when you go on TV that everyone's going to love you and it's going to be so glorious. What you don't prepare for is the hate. Yep. You don't. And yeah. it's, it comes like a shock. It's well, like, you just don't read the comments and you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, I know. Well, I, you know, kind of learned that over time. Uh, what is your favorite scene, episode, or highlight in 17 years of being on that show? Oh my God. Probably just the fights with Josh. Flat Altman? Yeah. Obviously, it wouldn't be with yourself. Yeah, that would be weird. Um, <laughs> are you still fighting with him in this season? Because you had a little bromance for a hot minute. Yeah, we you... know we definitely have our fights this season. You do? Yeah. Over business? Over? Uh, I can't tell you, but it, it, but it, business and, and stuff that's not business. But it, it gets a little dark. Do <laughs> you have a highlight, one highlight that stands out to you? from 17 years on that show. Well, despite how much I can't stand him, my proposal my, to, to my husband at the time was an incredible scene. I mean, just having a flash mob at the George Sank in Paris is incredible. That is pretty damn cool. That I was epic. Say. Of our eight years, I mm. think my highlight mm. was, I can't remember, but I, I took over a movie theater mm. and mm. I, I gave that. Valeria a ring. We're talking about me, not you. No, and you showed <laughs> up with my children. Yeah. Uh, that was definitely my highlight of being on the show. What was yours? The highlight of me of, of the show for me was probably, I think it was building that house with Adrian at the time, and it was like it was about our relationship evolving, and 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 then you made me sell it. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And then that kind of like had it symbol symbolized to her that we weren't progressing, right? And then I ended up proposing. Love it. Not with a flash mob. It was actually in Capri, but we can't get the camera. All three of us How'd proposed you get the camera? on the show. How did you get the camera crew yeah, all the way did. to... You got divorced on the Frost. show too. <laughs> actually, that was the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> we all got married on the show and you finished it with a divorce. Yeah, actually, well, that's done. true. That was the that's highlight. Good. That was the best. That was the best? <laughs> yeah. I haven't yet... To, I should probably watch that episode. That was the best. Oh, that was so good. That was actually a great episode. He he looked like such an idiot. Was it when... Was it when... Because I, I... Full disclosure... I did watch last season. I thoroughly enjoyed it because when you're not on the show, you can watch it objectively, right? Yeah. You're not in your own head. You're not like, what, 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 you know, what's going on? And I think you're talking about <laughs> when I in the house, himself. When, you, when, when you when you had an open house together, yeah. And then he went and said something to Altman behind your back, and Altman went and told you, and uh -huh. then you had the confrontation. Yeah, he told him to go f himself, yeah. and I, you know, sent him divorce papers. <laughs> How old were you, Flaggle, when you first started? Twenty-one. I'm now 38. We don't get to see you as much, but seeing you with Candy Spelling and Nikki uh, and all your people, friends. People flags age. You know, yeah. Hang around. My, my friend group, uh, my 80 plus group. 80? I'd go 90, but they love you and you love James, them. No, I'm really <laughs> sick. No, I'm really 75 plus is really my uh That's my your demo? Age. Yeah, but 75 plus. you look so plus. at home in that company. You really like, you see, You see the I pose. I just feel my natural element. I mean, I just feel like I'm with my people. Yeah, you really are. Have yeah. you always been like that? Always. It's always been 75, even when you were 16, 17, 18. Well, they, no, they started in their 60s and now they're, they <laughs> graduated it. into their 70s. Got it. So, so basically, God forbid, like, you know, when you reach like, you know, 50, 60 years my old. My friends will have, all be You'll dead. have no friends. Yes. Right. yes. You know, I was my thinking brother, about that last night. My brother used to say that about my dad because my dad was the same. He said, Dad, when you're older, you're going to have no friends left. Uh, yeah, it is a problem. I'm sure you'll I make thought about ones. that. Look, it's 2024 and your real estate tech needs to keep up with the times. Fortunately for us, we are leveraging BT Pro. And I think the name really says it all. BT Pro empowers professionals like us with everything we need to stay ahead of the game. From lead gen to smart CRM, automation tools, AI capabilities, and white glove 24 seven support. Go ahead and claim your free $250 in leads by visiting insiderrealestate.com slash blueprint and using promo code blueprint. That's insiderrealestate.com slash blueprint. The real estate market. Yeah. So 2023, I think we can all agree, was pretty shit. The state of the economy wasn't good. I think there was a statistic last year that came out that 50% of real estate agents across America didn't even close a single deal. Oh, wow. That's rough. Which is really rough. And I think even for us, we closed, wow. 
I would say 60% or 50% less than 2022. Yeah, I mean, that took us down to a billion. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a tough year for everyone. Rates it went was, through yeah, the roof. Bad. There was a lot of uh, economic uncertainty. And now coming into 2024, I feel like the market's back. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? For that? Yeah, I think that I actually had my best uh, fourth quarter I've ever had, which I thought was bizarre because I'm not I'm talking about literally in 20. No, 18 years. Mm -hmm. Now it could have just been a fluke, but I had the crazy closing, uh, crazy end of the year last year. And then the beginning of this year has been great. So it could just be coincidental, but I'm thinking that, you know, I think people are tired of just a depressed market. And I think that I, it's not back to what it was at the good old days, but I think we're on our way back. Interest rates are going to come down and have started to come down. And I think that uh, based on just, you know, what I've seen at least transacting in the flats of Beverly Hills recently, things are starting to move again. There's no ULA in the flats. Beverly Hills is exempt from ULA, which is good, right? Correct. Do we think, guys, yes, interest rates are coming down, which means there's a demand for people to start buying real estate, but rates haven't started coming down properly like the Fed have said they will. But the borrowing rates have come down because the, right. the banks factor the in a margin rates. between, well, that's what it's going to cost us. They're in 8%, right? Because the banks are putting a margin between the actual interest rate and the costs of borrowing because they're bearish about the market. They have to secure themselves by being more expensive. But the moment they um, uh, announced that there were going to be many cuts this year, uh, the borrowing rates went down. So it went yep. down from 8%. You can borrow the high fives right now before rates have even changed. So we feel like not only are rates coming sentiment. down, sentiment. sentiment is strong, but also it's an election year. So Which is always fun. I think that the market always goes up during an election year because people just don't know what's going to happen. And right. I've always had great election years. I feel agreed. like agreed, but I also feel like no matter who is going to win this election, everybody wants to show America how they're the best. And mm -hmm. so everybody's going to be really working to push these rates down. Mm -hmm. And I think people are trying to capitalize and get in early, even if they have the view that, you know what, I'll buy today, I'll refinance in 12 months. Or, even, even though the Fed is non-political, apparently. Of course, <laughs> Fed has no 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 uh, bearing in politics. But yes, they all want to make themselves look great. And Agreed. so therefore rates will come down. Agreed. So on the high end market, we're seeing a lot of traction on the lower end market. Do you handle that these days, Flag, or are you just 10 what's million lower, and above? What's lower end market? I don't know, sub Two. 50 million? No, a million <laughs> and above. Joking. How's everybody feeling yeah, about the yeah. market? I, 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 in the four to five range, I know that there's, there's, I've had a lot of good activity recently. Uh, I don't really know what's going on in the one to two range. Dave, what are your thoughts? I actually think the one to two range is, I mean, I don't know, but I think it's, logically quite strong sub five again it's not subject to ula um there's more buyers below five yeah certainly one to five um i've witnessed there's just more activity i think listen the bottom line is when when rates are on an upward trend people are thinking when is the end going to hit and there's a lot of money out there people are sitting getting great returns by putting their money in a checking account they can get five percent they can sit there comfortably but even the people with money don't want to rush in if they think it's going to get worse because they don't want to buy and then the market gets worse so as soon as they make the announcements that the rates were going to be going down again it's like that's when the sentiment comes because yep. their money's there they're like okay now's the right time and if i don't buy now i'll probably be paying more in the future absolutely what is what was the question you actually asked me though how the market is on the one to five oh, million dollar yep. range sign more ticks all the boxes for us their solutions are high quality reliable and scalable when we're unavailable the team of property professional receptionists ensures that every single call is answered and every lead is qualified 24 7 we truly feel that sign more has our back if you were to give one piece of advice to a real estate agent right now starting in the business as the market's coming back mm -hmm. what would it be sit on go join a team and sit on, on brokers opens houses and pick up buyers that's the easiest way to do it i mean that's what easier way is there to find a client than sitting on an open house good piece of advice good piece of advice. Dave, what are your thoughts? Oh, we've always said that. Open house, you can build your entire business out of just sitting open houses. Yeah. A hundred percent. For me, I think right now it's capitalizing on the opportunity, which is getting in front of buyers. How do you do that? A, open houses, B, door knocking, social media, getting your name out there, being repetitive, being consistent. But right now it's really honing in on your pitch as well, mm. understanding what you're saying to the client that's going to get them excited. And I think right now is, and I really believe this, is an unbelievable 
buying opportunity because prices have come down off of 2023 mm. and they haven't gone back up yet. So capitalize on it now before the rates do come down. And by the way, if you have to refinance in 12 months, so be it. But capitalize on a lower price today and go get yourself the property you want without having 15 other offers to bid up against mm. and get your buyers excited, get them to the table, get them to start writing offers and go make as much money as you possibly can. It's really good to be sitting back at the table uh, as a partner with Estate Media. We've been working on this for a very long time. We're going to be bringing incredible content, incredible podcasts, um, and we get to see the likes of Josh Flagg probably a little too often. But thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, and we will be back soon with more. Thank you.